Polanski Brothers. Shot like the cane. Thank you very much. This is what Lansky said. May we all have the style of Elvis. This is Lansky's at the Peabody. Clothier to the king. This is the sweater like Elvis wore. And that, I believe that was King Creole, maybe? I don't remember. But that's my friend Scotty Moore sitting right there behind him playing that Gibson. And that is the Ray Butts amp. I've played through that amp before at Scotty's house. That amp was made for Scotty by Ray Butts. Tell me who you are. Okay, you got it on. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. My name's Hal Lasky. I'm second generation. You're standing in the Lasky store at the uh, Peabody. Lasky's at the Peabody, but we're also known as uh, Clothier to the King. And uh, my dad in 1946 uh, found this, uh, this store and this uh, young guy came looking in the window in the early 50s. And this guy said, my dad saw this young guy looking in. He said, come on in, young man. And this young man said, Mr. Lansky, I don't have any money. One of these days, I'm going to come in and buy you out. And my dad said, young man, don't buy me out. Just just buy from me. And that's what started the relationship. This young man uh, turned out to be the king of rock and roll. So the rest is history. That's right. Cool. So thank you for coming in That's today. very cool, man. Thank you so much for that story. That's a very cool story. I know he bought from him his whole life. He so, did. Yeah. yeah. From his side. Matter of fact, you're in the, the Peabody, like I just mentioned. But on the second floor, my dad outfitted him for his... Uh, Junior senior, senior prom in 1953, so uh, yeah, really? Elvis had his prom prom in the, in the Peabody. So, really? You know, I don't know if you know this, but there's a lot of history, uh, a lot of history in Memphis. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah, ton of history. You know, That's Nashville's why I'm here. Cool, but we got a lot of history too. Yep, so, I'm here yeah. that, uh, getting some of it. Yeah, yeah. Going to uh, Grayson today? I've already been. Okay. I went this morning when they okay. had the, the where I could walk up and okay, do all go, that stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. Go, and I also went over to the original shop right yeah Bill, 229 no, 126 126 that's yeah, it cool. yeah okay, cool. yeah you can buy those numbers on the lottery man you might be the next you never can you tell that's okay. right thank right, you so well, much nice appreciate it so friends i'm buying this coat like the one elvis wore in the movie speedway but this is lansky's let's try that coat on philly yes sir put it on what size you think you need a uh, large i got it right here let me, let me i got it right there Sure. What color is your Ferrari? Uh, red. Red? You yeah. want to get the red coat? Yeah, I'm a blue guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, you know, you know Elvis wore two colors in this coat during the movie. He wore the royal blue yeah. and the red. And the red. Yeah. And he had the black. Uh, right over here. Yes, sir. Now, if you wear this, you wear cool. this. What size you got there? Medium. Uh, large. large. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you wear this, you got to do me a favor. No. I always flip, flip the, the collar. collar. You got to get a little attitude going. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's very cool. Yeah. Got to get an attitude wearing that coat. Yeah. Got to curl see, those lips. Lansky's are up there. Got to curl those lips right, and shake like those that. hips. <laughs> yeah. That look good on uh, on Main Street. Yes, what, sir. What's the big street in Nashville? Uh, Broadway. Broadway. Broadway, yeah, yeah, Broadway. Yeah. You ever seen the lights in Broadway? Lights in Broadway? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty cool street. Yes, sir. It is. Yeah. I'm too old to be hanging out on that street now. <laughs> where you at, Ron? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too old, too, yeah. my friend. Cool. So we'll go ahead and do this. Yes, sir. Let's put the drive out tags on and let you drive That's it That's exactly right. Cool. Let's do it. All right, Billy, don't stop. We're having, we've broken the ice, man. Yes, sir. Let's keep shopping. <laughs> Making a nice package of my oh, yeah, coat we, right there. We don't throw this stuff in a bag. You know, we like to send our little children out of here all looking good. It does make a difference when you treat treat your merchandise with respect. Yes, sir. Good. You throw it in a bag, you can get that at Walmart. Did, you, did, did I show you this? Uh, uh, what do you call it? Lenticular? Yeah, it's, look at that. It's my dad flipping his collar like I just flipped your collar. Oh, wow. And that's uh, Elvis C right there. That is very cool. Yeah. I should charge you an extra $100. For yeah, that that's bag. exactly right. Yeah, yeah. But the Lansky, this is called the Lansky wrap here. Yes, sir. Lansky wrap. I was a giant Elvis fan as a kid and read all the books and... One of the first things that I did when I came to town, of course, go to Graceland, but then you have to go to Lansky's. Yeah, that's that's cool. part of it. Well, we like to think so. Yes, sir. It was what, part so of you, it. So you went to Graceland yesterday? This morning. This morning? Yeah. Oh, you didn't go into the new exhibit, have you? Um, you went over, you got over there? Yeah, the one in the back on the corner. Uh, the the, the, the $200,000, uh, $50 million edition. You didn't see that? Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I, we went about probably a year ago. Okay, well, it's, it's amazing. You didn't see yeah. it. Yeah. And did you go in the, uh, the new hotel? No. 
But you have to, like, you got to, like, you can't just go in. It's gated. You can go in some of it, but okay. but, but they, they do charge for it. But uh, you walk in the hotel. The hotel is uh, is, is really nice is if, you're, if you're out there. Now. So uh, yeah, it's nice. But I do uh, documentary uh, type stuff yeah, uh, like. Uh, one of my biggest videos now is that Elvis's dad's house that's yeah, on, on that Dolan, side street on Dolan, on Dolan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and people don't know it even yes, existed. Yeah, I, yeah. I videoed it yeah. about six months ago and put it on, and man, it yeah. has really gotten a lot of hits. Yeah. Like, like, there's a lot of Elvis fans. There's a few, I think, from the UK that bought houses so they want that's how close yeah. they want to be to the king of life. Absolutely, yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, we're almost finished with a fantastic Lansky wrap, but but it's not official. It's not official. Like, you know, you go to England, you got the seal of the Queen, mm -hmm. the Royal Majesty. This is the official seal of the Code of the King. Right. So now you're complete. You might not want, want to even take this out. <laughs> might not. You might want to just leave this in a vault and leave it to your grandchildren. That's it. That's you it. Know, you might not even want to wear this. That's true. You might want to frame it and just put it in your Elvis room. That's true. Cool. Okay. All right. Awesome. Let's keep shopping. Yes, sir. As we say in the South, you want to uh, stick, stick a fork in it, call it done, you want to keep shopping. That's it. Okay. All right. Amazing. Thank All you right. so much. Okay. Okay. You need some uh, take care of Billy's son? Uh, not today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the coat. Okay. In my opinion, this is Elvis's most iconic jacket. This is the uh, jacket he wore in Jailhouse Rock. Hmm. But, but you see this coat, you, you know it's Elvis. Yeah. No doubt. And then this is the wedding jacket. The wedding jacket, yeah. Has with the pictures. Yeah. Small. Elvis day. Yeah. yeah, I did. Um. Me and, and Scotty were okay. in business together okay. for a while. I was selling autographs. Okay. Pictures of him and Elvis okay. 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 I think we have. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And I, I worked with Scotty for several yeah. years yeah. and sold stuff. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they're tearing the Colonel's house down. Yeah, I heard that. They might be a car yeah. wash out. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm actually filming it. Oh, really? I'm okay. filming okay. it from yeah. before it was torn down. Yeah. As yeah. I've been in the house and yeah. everything as I'm taking it apart. So it's very interesting to go in there and look. Yeah. Yeah. I live right up the road. Are they, are they moving the house anymore? No, they're just destroyed. You mm -hmm. said you're as good as gold, man. That's the first time I've ever used a chip yeah. card, up there. <clears throat> Appreciate you, my no, friend. Nice you, to meet you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Give us a shout out. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, I definitely will. Okay. Okay. I'll make you up a okay. real nice video. Okay. You got my card. I sure do. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. So, friends, I'm in Lansky's Men's Shop, and this is actually it's different than it was back then this is the store now this used to be inventory so like where these shelves are this would have been taken back in this part you can see that there's some electrical boxes on that far side so it was actually in this part which would have been the back part of the store and Mr. Lansky she said there is a um and of course you can see him being fitted. And I asked where those mirrors were and they didn't know. But she said the store originally was up here where the Hard Rock is now. So this is actually the original store. And she said that there's a stairway down to the basement where Hello. Mr. Lansky. Hey there, how are you? So this would have actually been the store. Now it's all changed since then, but this is where Elvis would have come and he met Mr. Lansky and it would have actually been on that side, on the street where the marker is, not on this side. And so it all happened right here, friends. Down in here, there's actually They said in the basement is where he would do his um, tailoring. He actually did the tailoring part where he made the clothes down here, which is where he would have made the clothes for Elvis. Now you can see that it's a wine bar. It's where you do wine tastings and that kind of stuff. So this is a best wishes Scotty Moore. I sold these pictures for Scotty for many, many years and watched him sign hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. I wanted, uh, so this right here was the cigar box given to Elvis, 1969 at the International in Las Vegas, August 1969. It says, thanks for a groovy show. Ronnie Tuck, Larry, which I don't know, Jerry Chef, bass player, James Burton, guitar player, 
and John Wilkerson, the rhythm guitar player, Ronnie Tuff was the drummer, Larry, I would assume, is piano, and it had these cigars in it. Hungry Tiger Restaurant, to light up. right there, friends. And this can be found upstairs at the Hard Rock as well. So friends, this right here is where the famous Elvis meeting Lansky happened. This was the Lansky's men's shop, this part of it. That part down there was another thing, and this was where the front doors were, where this jut out is. But I actually videoed it on the other street over there because that's where the Hard Rock, I mean, that's where Lansky's is now, but it was actually here on this street. And you can see they call this Bernard Lansky Street. They got a Sam Phillips here. And they've got a Johnny Cash. But it all happened right here, friends, right here. So this is Lansky's own deal now, but just know that it used to be around the corner. This was the storeroom. Just one more day today at oldbaby and oldbaby.com. They won't last. Get there fast. So that's Bernard's kids. And that's his son that we're going to talk to. How? And that's the famous turned up collar. He got that from Lansky. Lions Club, the gold lame coat that Elvis loved, and that is in the museum over at Graceland now. It was at the Colonel's house. So friends, let's take a look at, this is what the facade looks like now in the front. It's actually the hard rock, but right there is where I'm standing, where those guys are at. And that's what it looks like now. It's changed a whole lot over the years. And I'm gonna show you some pictures of Elvis and Bernard Lansky, the guy that was the guy that I talked to his dad. That's them. Bernard really was a huge part of Elvis's style. And I think it was a match made in heaven. It was a perfect fit. Elvis needed to look like a superstar early on. And Bernard Lansky knew how to make that happen. Here's a check that Elvis wrote June the 1st, 1956 for 46 bucks, which was a lot of money. This was the inside of a coat that he made, handmade for Elvis. This was a Western Union telegram that he sent to Elvis and Dooley Phillips care of Ed Sullivan shows. That's while he was on Ed Sullivan saying, I'm watching your show in Dallas, Texas, attending the biggest men's fashion show in the country. Also picking your next sharp outfit. If possible to make a casual remark about Lansky Brothers men's shop on the famous Bill Street, would really appreciate it. Good luck to you, Bernard and Guy Lansky, which were brothers. So he was trying to get Elvis to give him a shout out on the Ed Sullivan show, which I don't recall happening, by the way, friends. This is a recap of Bernard Lansky's story he told in an interview in 2002. It says he was coming down to the store looking in the window. I really didn't know who he was. He was working at Lowe's Theater and used to take his break and come down and look in the window and listen to music down on Bill Street. First week after I met him, he bought a shirt, you know. We were the first store to give Elvis a charge account. The interview with Bernard Lansky. 2002. So in that previous picture, you could barely make out this marquee. It's covered, actually obscured, but this is the marquee that was over the store. You can see that it even gives who's playing at Ellis Auditorium, which Elvis played at in the very, very early years. And then one last story. In this last story, this Messerschmitt right here that RCA gifted to Elvis right after Heartbreak Hotel went to number one, he drove it up to the front of Lansky's and got out and went in the store and Mr. Lansky asked him about the car and said, that if he ever wanted to sell it, that he would be interested in it. And Elvis said, well, if you want it, I'll tell you what, just let me go shopping. Let me buy anything I want in this store and you can have it. So he said Elvis turned loose and, and walked around in that store and shopped for two hours and took stuff home. And he said the store was an absolute wreck when he was done. He's passed away. To my knowledge, they still have that Messerschmitt. I will actually do a follow-up story on that and find out where that's at. But according to the last interview that I saw, it is still in the Lansky family. So now you know what happened to that car right there, friends. He traded it for some clothes to Bernard Lansky right in front of Lansky's men's shop on Bill. So friends, the next time you're in Memphis, stop by the Peabody and see how Lansky right here, my friend. Tell him the spa guy sent you and tell him I said hello. Pick you out something real nice and don't forget to tighten up, friends, every chance you get. That's Hal Lansky, the son of Bernard Lansky, the clothier to the king, the original Elvis stylist right there, my friends. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. 
friends, if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.